Science and the GCF or greatest common factor of 30 and 45. And I like to use a factor tree, so let's get started. First, we have 30. I'll complete a factor tree. 2 times 15 is 30. Circle the 2 because it is prime. And now let's go with 3 times 5 equals 15. I'll circle both of them because they are prime. So now I'm down to just prime numbers. Next, let's work with 45. And 45, let's begin with 5 times 9 equals 45. Circle 5 because it is prime. And now 3 times 3 equals 9. They are both prime. And now I'm down to prime numbers with 45. Uh, next, I complete a factor chart. This will really cut down on the number of mistakes. So I'll write out the prime numbers for each of these two, three, and five. And now for 45, I'm going to put a check by them. There's a three, there's a five, and then I have a leftover three, and I'll just write it there. Now the rule is, when you're finding the greatest common factor is, you must have a pair. Since we're only working with two numbers, we have to have a pair. So we have a pair of threes, and we have a pair of fives. So now all I do is multiply 3 times 5, which equals 15. So the GCF of 30 and 45 is 15. I hope that helps, and Moo Moo Math uploads a new math and science video every day. Please subscribe and share.